Hi, this video is about uh, Evernote and how it compares with uh, uh, Apple Notes. Apple Notes made uh, it, I mean, it's available with uh, El Capitan and uh, it basically seamlessly syncs with uh, uh, your devices. You can easily create like my first note and, you know, and type basically everything else it does not require much of an introduction like you know what it can do you can basically type anything it has a features like you can import the images write it annotate it and all that cool stuff but this video primarily focuses on the key differences between Evernote and uh, Apple Notes so this is Evernote and uh, it syncs seamlessly with uh, your i devices, uh, your uh, Windows machine. Uh, they don't have any Linux client, but it uh, it also works with Mac machine. I'm making this a video in on a Mac. Uh, same as like the Notes app, you have to open it. You have Evernote app. Yes, it's a, another app on your phone, but uh, the features that this thing offers, uh, because of that, it may be well worth it. Let's check that out. Uh, the data I created, I created about uh, 80, 8200 notes uh, uh, and the, the half of the data was well formatted in Excel. Um, so what I did is I created a note, um, exported it uh, just like, you know, export, export note and basically uh, then I exported on desktop and uh, uh, what it does is you can basically uh, open this with a text editor. Uh, it sees in a XML file so you can see how uh, code wise it looks. And for me, um, it was much easier because I could take this entire code and paste it into Excel and basically run my macro to loop through basically each row uh, to create a single node. So basically, every uh, row in Excel was converted into a note. Uh, this whole process took me less than an hour to configure, um, upload it, uh, convert to Evernote and upload it to to their um, uh, cloud basically and sync across all my devices, Windows machine, uh, iPad, iPhone, uh, tablets, everything else. So that's the power of uh, Evernote. You can basically, if you have a little knowledge of XML, you can just uh, play uh, automate many things but this could be a unique uh, requirement for me uh, for other people they may not use it this way so they may not like it but because of that that makes it very powerful uh, to the seven notice the other than that let's check out few other things uh, once I exported this uh, now Apple offers an import feature where you can import an uh, Evernote uh, note into uh, Apple Notes and see how that thing appears. So you right click on it and you say import notes. You go to the desktop and you double click it. Yes, import notes. It will create a new folder called imported notes. But look what happened. All the table formatting and everything is gone. Yeah, it retained this uh, superscript, but I don't think you can create, you can reduce the text size by font command minus. Let's try that. See, you can reduce it, but you cannot change that into a, um, like a, this elevator height of text, like you can do something like that. On Evernote, you can do it very easily. That's one, one thing. You cannot copy a note. You can either lock this note from editing, new note, and delete. Those are your three choices. But there are many choices here. You can move between uh, different books. Uh, you can save as an attachment. You can email it. You can export it. You can share the note. And so many. And you can add this to a shortcut if you quickly want to access it. Of course, you can delete a note and create a note. Those two are. You know your choices so that's this and let's search for a word and see how this thing appears 
So I'll search the first word. Uh, I'll copy from here and let's see what happens. Great. So with the search, I can see that it is it found within the node, but not within the node. It found the, in the name of the node title, but not within the node. But search the same thing here and see what happens. Okay, that's the first instance, but it's a hyperlink. Let's click on it. See, every place that word appears gets highlighted. So that's a very, very uh, nice feature to have if you are working with uh, large text or, uh, you know, assignments or something just to find out, you know, all the places where that thing appeared. Uh, this link, since I have Evernote uh, in my machine, so clicking that is okay because it opens as a new tab, but I don't, so at least in that part, it's okay that Apple does not destroy uh, the hyperlinks completely. Now, see here, everything is an hyperlink, maybe because of an, it's an import, but you cannot tell which hyper, hyperlink is basically within the notes and which one is outside. In this case, the YouTube and the website link, they are the outside links. They are not within the notes app. So if you click there, it will take you there. That's not an issue, but you cannot quickly distinguish. But look, let's look at what happens. Anything within the green, with green basically, is a hyperlink within the Evernote notes. And anything that appears with the blue is an outside web link. A very simple concept, but very powerful, very easy to understand. Your all hyperlinks that that take that has to go to a website will always be uh, colored blue. But this is default; you cannot change it. Uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about that. Then tags, you can create about hundred tags without any any problem. And the benefit of having so many tags is this. A same node can have multiple tags based on the content and you can easily create which way you want it. And you see these all these are created. So if I want to just filter only these tags, click on it, that's it. You know, scroll through and find out. And you can select all of them and you can create a table of contents. You can share the notes, you can merge them, you can save as attachments. So, so many options are there. You can move between books. All those things is uh, available with Evernote. And uh, on the tags, you can group them. You can group and create subgroups. You know, when you collapse everything, it appears like that. See, there are like six subgrouping. And within that, it shows you how many subgrouping and how many nodes are there. So, all that thing <coughs> can be done very easily. Merging tags is is very easy select the whole notes and just rename the tag um, table of contents you can create with a click of a button uh, right here I, I can show you uh, index page they call it i called it inject but it's essentially a table of contents no issue as long as evernote you know pages that you have they do not contain huge amount of text like you know pages and pages worth of text that thing opens pretty fast. Uh, let me open and see if I can find um, a note with a large amount of text in it. Let's find yoga. Yoga Sutra. No, that's not. And. Uh, mm -hmm. This one. That thing has a lot of text. So there you will see a couple of seconds lag. See how the screen is blank and then it loads up. But again, as long as you have less than you know a few hundred lines, you won't see any lag. This thing is almost instantaneous. So like that. Uh, I talked about index, I talked about tags. You can export a note, you can convert any note into a PDF, you can just right click on it and say convert to PDF, not an issue. And it seamlessly syncs with the 
all other devices just hit the sling sync button when you open this app on an iphone or an ipad it might take like initial couple of seconds uh, to sync it but that doesn't stop you can still start using it creating a note and all that and that thing does the syncing on the on the background same thing with iCloud maybe you know with the i notes the content appears nicely on the on the all devices but uh, you lose a little bit formatting if you're starting a new note you you have the freedom to uh, freedom to basically uh, format the way you want it again if you use pages or something to create a well formatted note and paste it here it'll work but I, again you have to use two apps it's not you know one thing and also when uh, when you want to take a web page or something so you can copy the content and say it but look what happens with Evernote uh, they give you a web clipper you can click on it and the article appears like this with all these advertisements and so much crap but again if you want to take a clean copy of this note and don't want all these uh, advertisement all you have to do is simplified page and that thing basically does simplify the whole thing let me show i think it's stuck for some reason yeah all the advertisements and everything is gone it's just the plain article you can copy it to evernote just click where you want to save it save that thing is doing the syncing and once the sync is complete you go back to your evernote and do the sync here and you will have your note with that i think um, it has some promising features uh, it might you know have the benefit one disadvantage is you will be logged with um, Apple if you don't have a problem with that that's fine otherwise this one uh, basically is very good for Windows and uh, Mac machines so that's all if you have any questions comments let me know in the comment section thanks for watching